<laughs> Hello, insiders. I'm Todd, and I'm here with Eric. Eric, why don't you tell us about yourself? Hello, everybody. My name is Eric, and I'm a product manager working with Todd in recommendations. My main focus at YouTube is to work on satisfaction with recommendations. What we do there is we try to make sure people are happy with the videos they watch from their homepage or on their watch next feed. Right. Yes. We've been working on satisfaction together for a few years now, and I'm also excited to finally be talking more to creators about this um, because it's really important to our recommendations. So can you just kind of tell us a little bit more about what satisfaction means? Our goal is to make sure people are happy with both the videos they're recommended when they open YouTube on their homepage and when they're watching a video in their watch later or their watch next feed. Uh, and we also want people to, once they've seen a video, be happy with the fact that they watched it. And what I mean by this is I may watch like three videos to the end from beginning to end, but that doesn't mean that I felt the same about all of them. And it's important for us as YouTube to try and differentiate between the cases where you thought, wow, this was awesome. I really, I'm glad that I watched it. And those where um, as a user, you're like, well, you know, I was hoping that this delivered something that actually didn't occur. And on the other side for recommendations, we want to help users find videos that they want to watch, both new stuff as well as stuff that you they're already watching. And we want to make sure that we're never showing things that are like that turn you off from YouTube that you're like either offended by or or really unhappy about. We know that watch time is actually a, a decent signal for helping us understand whether someone liked a video or not. But then we recognize that not all watch time was equally valued by our viewers. Satisfaction is our effort to help um, differentiate uh, when watch time isn't all equally valued. So how do we know if uh, if watch time made a user happy or if they were disappointed? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, that's actually a big part of what we do. We try to find ways to understand how users feel about the videos they're watching. And we look at both features that are on YouTube, like did they press the like button? Did they say they were not interested on a video? Uh, and are the signals like that? And we also use things like surveys. We actually, you may have seen this, we send surveys to users and we ask like, what did you think of this video? And in a personalized way, we use that to decide how high a video uh, shows up on your page or whether we should even show that video to a specific user. What does this, what are the implications for creators? Yeah, so I would like to say first that as always, YouTube's goal is to help viewers find videos that they'll enjoy watching. And satisfaction is just a piece of that. So as a creator, uh, what you should be thinking about is creating content that is good for the audience. So if you create content that's good for your audience, viewers are going to be happy with it and the system is going to be recommending it to them. How should a creator know whether whether their content is good for the audience? Yeah, so there's there's a couple factors to this. On one side, when creating the content, I would say if you are creating content that is misleading, that's like, clickbaity thumbnails that are meant to get people to click on them, but then the content is actually not delivering on that. Uh, you can assume that it's less likely to be satisfying to users. Uh, on the flip side, we are still working on this, but we would like to provide more signals to creators like we do uh, for other things like click through rate or average view duration so that you can get a better sense of when a video is performing in one way or another, what your audience feels about it. In the meantime, what I would say, you can look at soft signals, like are people commenting on the video and saying they're happy with what you're creating? Uh, do you find that people like your video? Uh, maybe you can even like engage with the audience, re like respond to them in those comments or make polls uh, and reach out to them in, in uh, other ways that you have available. What is the satisfaction team working on these days? We're working on a lot of things. Um, I would say, our work is split in a few buckets. One is to continue to find these signals to better understand how users feel. At the same time, we work with machine learning systems that use this information uh, to better surface uh, recommendations that are good for our users. In parallel, we're thinking of what are other ways in which we can improve YouTube so that users are more satisfied. What are some of the biggest challenges that the team has in understanding satisfaction of the viewers? 
Yeah, we have several challenges. I think the biggest one is when we either don't have a good way to uh, understand how user feels because it can be pretty frustrating to be asked uh, for every video, like, hey, did you like this? Hey, how? tell us how you felt about this or what do you want? Finding a right balance between covering all users and not becoming annoying to users is, uh, is I would say, the biggest trade-off we're having to make. How do you think about like if satisfaction goes up based on a change, but watch time goes down, like which is better? Yeah, that's actually a difficult question to answer. And I think a good question. We actually care about satisfaction a lot. And I personally, as somebody working on it, I'm very happy about it. Uh, but we look at satisfaction as an objective. So if satisfaction goes up, we are happy with that. Even if that means that users are watching a little bit less YouTube overall. So what we uh, look at is how much time are YouTube spending, are users spending uh, watching videos that they're happy about? And if that time is going up, we don't care about like overall time on the platform going down. Similarly, we look at not having people be turned off from recommendations as an important objective on its own. Even if that means that users are clicking on a few less videos, we are willing to say, users not being turned off and uh, unhappy with the recommendations we give in a, in a strong way is, is important to us. So do you ever worry about uh, bias in the people who take surveys? So bias is a topic of conversation we have all of the time. And what I can say there is we are constantly trying to both evaluate our data to make sure that it is representative and not biased, but at the same time improve it uh, so that it becomes better over time. So is there like one satisfaction score for every channel or every video? Here, what I can say is that it's not one signal or one score to rule them all. Every video has a score for every user, and that is different for each user in each video. Uh, and it might even change over time, because maybe a user is happy about a type of content now and less happy about it later. Uh, and there are a lot of things that go into that score. You shouldn't worry specifically about like, oh, are the comments like specifically important or is like the like button something that's super important? It is a combination of all these signals that help us make predictions for every user and every video. So do you have any questions for creators about satisfaction or anything you'd like to learn from the audience watching this video? On one side, I'd love to hear what are the things creators would like to learn more about, right? We're trying to capture audience signals. How can we better help creators make content that their viewers are going to be happy and excited about? On the other hand, I think it would be awesome to hear from creators on what other ways could we be measuring user satisfaction? Um, how can we uh, continue to learn how users feel about the videos they're watching? Great. So if you have ideas for satisfaction, please leave them in the comments. If you were satisfied by this video, what should they do, Eric? <laughs> I think they should like, subscribe, and uh, comment. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and want to see some more Creator Insider videos about recommendations and our search and discovery systems, Please check out this playlist right over here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and keep it real.